what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be a shorter video i just kind of wanted to make a quick update uh on the paint prep i have begun some things come up and wasn't able to do a normal video but uh, i wanted to give you a quick walk around and update of where we stand so um things i did off camera i wanted to get done prior to actually beginning the body body work uh, i did put a new set of uh, power stop front brakes and rotors uh, they are the drilled slotted deals so not bad um i did go ahead and take the hood off what else did i do here oh i do need to pull this off um like i said i don't know what i'm gonna do with that quite yet obviously this isn't gonna work the piece i bought was a two-piece design as i mentioned in a prior video uh, it's it's not the greatest quality i don't believe i'm gonna use it but i don't know i may screw with it see if i can get it to work as long as it looks good i'm happy but you know um we'll see come around back uh did finally get the the, uh, the third brake light in um that was a hassle and a half uh, obviously it went in no problem but uh yeah getting it was the job uh, also on the um on the vinyl panel i don't know if i'm gonna use that or not uh it's gotta be cut i mean it basically just me being lazy uh, i don't know if i want to screw with the vinyl panel i do think it'll look good um i guess once i get the paint the paint work done i may go ahead and uh attempt throwing that on there but as of right now it's up in the air not sure what i want to do with that as you can see like i mentioned i got the hood off that's obvious um i don't know what i'm going to do with the hood pin plates these the, the ones that came with the cheap uh, mr gasket kit are just that uh extraordinarily cheap the, uh, the chrome is already peeling off of those. Partly my fault because I had to make that hole bigger, but either way, it sucks. Um, so I did find uh, the original kit, I believe may have been Steeda or an off-brand, I don't know. Uh, but it's the captive pin design. I may pick up another set of those just to make it, make sure it works properly and, and looks decent. I will be filling, I will be filling these holes, obviously. Um, but do the other side of the hood too so i did get the sail panel off and i'll show you how i did that in a minute um obviously it needs completely redone however i noticed and you probably already know this as well <laughs> this is not the original panel uh this came off of a red car no idea why didn't know anything about that did not know that there was any damage to that panel before but um here it is. I went ahead. I've been. I started sanding a little bit on this. Um, if you remember, there was rust up in here. Uh, this is not done by no means. Um, but uh, I got the majority of the rust out. You can still feel some pits where the rust was. You'll notice all up along here. There's some rust down in there. A lot of it's, I think, just caked mud for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, I'll be cleaning all that up. To take these sail panels off is, is actually pretty easy to do. So up in here, up in here, there's going to be one. There's going to be one bolt up here, 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 in the back, and then up in here. I have no idea if you've seen all that because I'm holding the camera all wonky. But anyway, yeah, you take those four bolts out after you take the seat belt out. The little clothes hanger up top. I don't know if you can see any of this, but anyway, take the uh, seat belt, clothes hanger, this panel here. It's dark, but it's the panel that goes up here. Uh, take that out, take those bolts out, come outside, and this weather stripping, it just pulls right down. There's no problems there. Up underneath here, there's going to be a plate. Uh, that's got Torx bits um, Take the Torx bits out pull that plate out. There is some adhesive holding on. It's 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 nothing bad um, It just it still just pops right off 
Once you get that out, there's, I don't know, three, four uh, Phillips head screws up under here. So technically this could come off. I did leave, there's another one up front. I left it there because I don't need to take this off. But the rear sail panel actually goes under that pillow. So you do have to loosen at least, you gotta loosen it like I did to get this panel off. But uh, I'm glad that that's sanded out. That, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, also, I did, I did try to put the window motor in and we ran into a few issues there. I don't know what the problem is. I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. Um, I took the door panel off. The old motor was already out. Did not know that either. Uh, the plug was just hanging there. So I plugged the new motor the guy gave me in. The button didn't work. Now, you can hear the relay up under the dash click, uh, but it didn't do anything. So I, I don't know. Um, I haven't done any research on any, any troubleshooting. I just said, screw it. I'll mess with that later. I'm getting ready to start the paint. So I don't, I don't need the window right now anyway. Uh, if you might have any ideas, let me know below. I'd be interested to, to hear your thoughts. Um, might save me time doing some research and maybe something you've already dealt with anyway. So if you know or have an idea, let me know below. Uh, still having a little bit of issue keeping the car idling. I think that's the tune personally. Um, it's probably a very safe tune considering it's an email tune for cams, but it's still kind of frustrating, but I'll mess with that once we get the car done. Okay, so the plan for the paint prep. Uh, this is gonna be a job, you know what? So for the hood, we got the hood here. Um, basically, I'm gonna sand the entire hood uh, with 220 grit. Um, then I'm gonna use a sealer. I will seal it. I will then wet sand it, um, probably go three, 320 to 600, in with an 800. I will then spray the base clear. Uh, base, clear, you know. I'll probably go uh, two coats, three coats, maybe vice versa, I don't know. Um, just so you know, I am not a professional. Um, this is gonna be, I don't wanna say the first time I've done this, but um, the first time I've done it with this much care, I mean, I've painted a few body panels here and there, you know, I've just uh, roll pans for trucks and stuff like that, but uh, nothing with the, uh, the base crew style and nothing where I'm trying to make it look as good as I want this car to look. So keep in mind, I am a novice at this, so any tips, greatly appreciated. Um, the same steps will be applied to the sail panel since it is uh, plastic. Uh, and then for this fender here, Basically, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sand this down pretty far. Um, I don't know how far. I've had some people tell me I need to go down to bare metal and start, start fresh, uh, just based on what the repair paint did. I don't know. I probably won't go down to bare metal, if I'm honest. I will be using uh, some self-etching primer on this fender. Uh, the same for the door. I, I don't know what they did. Um, Personally to me, and again, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional or an expert here, I'm just my own experience. It looks like they used some cheap clear. I don't know what kind of clear they would have used, but it looks like the clear did not adhere to whatever base coat they put down. Um, either way, I'll be sanding probably back to about here. Uh, and then we'll be doing base clear there. Uh, I will wet sand the rest of the door uh, and I'll blend that in the best I can. Uh, I'm actually really excited to do that. Uh, you know, it's always it's always a positive when you can learn a new skill. Uh, but then I'll be pulling these um, front rocker things out. Uh, they definitely need some some love. They got some clear coat peeling as well. Uh, back here, like I said, just for this panel. Obviously, I did go down to bare metal here, and I will have to. Uh, I will be using, I think, some filler here because there's some. There's some major pitting from where the rust was, but uh, fill, prime. I think I'm gonna just wet sand the top of this panel. Uh, take some tape, you know, maybe less than a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, kind of roll back and let that, let that kind of blend into the rest of the panel because the rest of the panel is in great shape. Um, so I don't, I don't want to redo the whole panel, uh, but I'm, I will have to do it up here, obviously. I'm not gonna do anything with the trunk. Um, I hope that 
I hope the paint matches. Um, I was told that uh, for the first job that I'm doing like this, it is a terrible color. Uh, I, from what I understand, silver is not easy to do. Um, I hope I, I hope that's wrong. Um, so again, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But uh, I guess it's got something to do with the metallic in it. Um, I don't know. You'll see me do it all in this here, uh, this here camera. So if I make any big mistakes, you're going to see it, and I'm sure I'll get called down on it at some point. Either way, one last panel. Um, obviously, this fender, this fender's in good shape. However, uh, I am going to wet sand the top of this fender. Uh, actually, I may do more than that. I may go down to here uh, simply to get rid of this rock chip. Uh, but the reason for this is because I, 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 I want the paint to match as much as possible. I don't want a noticeable difference in tint in this paint. Um, it's going to show up very prominently with this silver. So I will be doing the top of that panel uh, to make sure it matches well across the top. The last body piece uh, that I, I mentioned this before is this bumper. Um, this uh, mount point here is all cracked all the way around. I don't know. Um, I actually thought about trying some of that plastic weld. Um, I've seen people use it. It looks pretty sturdy. Obviously, it's going to be. It would be better than whatever the the broken mess it is now. But I think I can do that after I get the rest of the work done. Um, some some of you may say I should do it while I'm doing the rest and. We're not wrong, um, but simply because I don't know what I want to do there yet, I'm leaving that alone. I even tossed around the idea of doing away with the 0304 Cobra bumper altogether, uh, looking for the 9901 Cobra bumper. I do like those, and you don't see those as often. I think they are becoming a little more popular simply because you don't see them as often. Um, but that idea is out there, so I'm not sure what route I'm going to go there yet. Once all that's done, I don't know. There's always more to do. Um, it's, there's always something you can find to upgrade or replace. Uh, obviously, the airbags uh, need to be done. Uh, they look terrible, and I, I want the airbags back in it. Um, I've also decided kind of what I'm going to do suspension-wise. Uh, those That rear coilover kit and the uh, rear control arms that from Green Kelly, both of them from Green Kelly. Uh, I do think I'm going to just sell those. I don't want to go that route. Uh, Ride Tech is very close to me. I deal with them through my my job as well. Um, I'm thinking I may do one of their full coilover setups. Um, I can get a decent deal on that. And you can't beat Ride Tech's quality. Uh, any of you that have used it, I'm sure you could agree. And anybody who's not used it, I'm sure you've heard of it. So uh, I may go that route. I don't know. We'll see. I enjoy Mustangs, but I tell you what. I've had the sudden urge to pick up an old muscle car. So the sooner I get this done, the sooner I can make that happen. I think. I don't know. I'm very indecisive in case you didn't notice. But uh, anyway, this is good fun. I hope, you know, those of you that are seeing these videos are enjoying them. Uh, I am always open to uh, opinions, criticism, suggestions, all that good stuff. Um, this is all a learning experience for me with the, the camera and the YouTube thing. Um, you know, Never would have thought a, a, a headlight and taillight job would be long enough for a video for YouTube, but I guess it is. But uh, same goes for like a hood pin install. But anyway, um, sorry for uh, not really getting a whole lot done this episode. Like I said, I just want to do uh, an update. Um, again, any suggestion at all, let me know below. Um, if you can, like the video. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, there's still a lot more to come with this uh, the junk thing here, uh, and I can tell you I have a lot of projects left that I want to do, and it sure would be fun to continue doing these on YouTube. It gives me uh, gives me something to do that I enjoy. Um, but yeah, until next time.